Oh, yeah. Got a battery change. High low rig. I got one, two hooks on, about a foot apart, and then about another foot down to the weight. Got a one ounce coin weight. Same old, same old. I'm actually used to tying, uh, putting on a one and a half ounce, but I think the one ounce should be fine. The uh, conditions today are not bad at all. So we'll get these sandworms thrown on. And get after it. Alrighty, just gonna do a little voiceover recording to just talk to you guys as the video keeps on playing because I forgot to mention it while I was actually there at the beach but prior to this clip I had been fishing already for about two hours using that uh, Lucky Craft swim bait I still haven't figured it out yet I'm trying my hardest but no bites no nibbles no nothing so I'm like you know what screw it let's just throw on what I know works and that's where this video basically starts after about an hour to two hours worth of footage already that I just <laughs> deleted because I caught nothing. Um, but that's where the video picks up. Um, I catch two perch and then once again I have a, a dry spell and nothing for about another hour. So yeah, I was pretty frustrated but I eventually figure out this beach and I know and I figure out where and how the fish are starting to actually bite and not just not just nibble but actually get like some good bites because I was getting nibbled all day long with this rig that I had on, but none of them were sticking and I wasn't sure if it was the size of hook that I was using, which, which it probably is. It, it's probably too big of a hook. So I'm going to try up, try a little smaller hook the next time I go. Yeah, but that's all I wanted to say. Uh, I'll let the video continue to play from here on out and uh, I'll check in with you guys at the end of the video. Of course.
look at that. Third, keep going for a little longer. Just because I'm still getting bites, I'm determined to catch as much as I can. Well, they're so small, guys, so that's a okay. probably because of the water. Oh yeah. Oh. Big perch. Woo. To be honest, I don't know. Is that my biggest? I don't know, but it's pretty fish. Same. Just as big as the last one we got. Nice. Nice fish. I knew they were out there. are out there you just gotta find them heck yeah <laughs> felt good alrighty come on I get smoked yeah there it is another good one fish on Good one, but probably the wave. <laughs> nice, beautiful fish. Woohoo! There we go.
dish number six. There he goes. Nice. So they're hitting it right at that wave. Berkey sandworms are putting in work now. I don't know what happened over there. I was just getting nibbles and they weren't sticking. I feel like they're just little tiny fish. Those sand crabs were really small. So maybe that's why. And then these are the size that I'm normally catch. A little hand size. And then I got that one nice one, 10 and a half inch. Better fish. I think this is a better, actually better fish. Yup. Ass number seven. <laughs> Let's go, dude. Alrighty. It's getting dark. Very soon. 636. I got maybe I thought I maybe it was had another half hour, but I was wrong. We're going strong, dude. It's a little cold. But having fun. I caught seven so far. If I get three more, I'd be stoked. Oh yeah, their time's a charm. Son of a gun, kept on nipping at it. Eventually got him. I gotta learn how to cook these things. I don't really like fish, that's the thing. But learn how to cook them, if I like them, maybe do a catch and cook one of these days. So I found that they don't really, they're not really fighting within like the first 20 feet of shore. They like to fight kind of far out there. Like 
right here. Getting bit. Oh, nibble. Here comes another wave set. The big ones like to coast in on the wave. Bumps. Oh, yeah. Nine. Dude, that. I, I think it was just a wave. Doesn't feel super big. But man. Oh, actually, it's a good size. Not huge, but that's a good size perch. Another good one. So three decent sized, bunch of small guys. That hooks it, bro. You heard of <laughs> There we go, number 10. Number 10. go last fish finally little small guy it's fine I am getting so cold and he hit on the top one he hit on the one that someone a fish just took on the previous cast One more cast. How's it going guys? Thanks for watching the video, I appreciate it. Um, thanks for hanging out with me today. You know, it, it was a kind of a last minute thing. I left midday and I got there to the spot around two o'clock-ish. I fished for probably about five, four, four hours, 30 minutes, something like that. Um, and to be honest, it was a really good day. I, I had a lot of fun. Um, it was disappointing in the early hours just because I was I'm trying to branch out from doing what I know works Which is that high low rig you saw me use but um, I really wanted to try and catch a fish on that jerk bait or that that jig head that I was using But I don't know if it was my technique or if it was just the location So those are things I'm just gonna have to iron out as I learn this whole ocean fishing gig, you know um, I'm hoping later in the fall that I can uh, take you guys with me and we'll go up to the Sierras and hopefully go trout fly fishing because that's what I love to do so that'd be a lot of fun if I could uh, have the chance to do that but um, overall I'd say once again really good day but you know thank you guys once again for watching uh, if you liked the video go ahead and leave a like for me if you could if you didn't like the video, go ahead and leave a dislike. I don't mind, but just please let me know what I can do to improve in the future by uh, using that comment section down below. If you wanted to see any of the music that I used or listen to any music that I used in this video, uh, you can find that in the description, as well as any of the gear that I used today as well. We'll be also listed in the description as well. Um, and then going forward, hopefully, 
with these videos, I'm gonna be talking a lot more. I'm still trying to get used to this whole thing, you know, making videos and recording and talking to people who aren't really there, you know, in person. So uh, be patient with me and I, I promise I'll get better about it. But once again, thank you so much, appreciate it, and I'll see you guys next time.